Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a template in WhatsApp Manager. Now, uh, if you're in chat fuel and you want to create a re-engage message, uh, you go to re-engage tab, click create message. You'll see this window pop up asking you to choose a WhatsApp template. Now you might ask, uh, what's a WhatsApp template? Now, a WhatsApp template is a requirement or a required message that you need to have in place if you want to send re-engage messages in chat fuel. Now, as you can see, there is a bunch of templates created for you, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how to create a new template from the ground up step by step. Now, step one is to open uh, WhatsApp manager. You can do it by clicking here. On this page, you'll see all of your message templates. To create a new one, go here and click on create template. Next, you'll need to pick a category for your template, marketing, utility, and authentication. They all have a different purpose in mind, but they're very, very similar to make, uh, to create rather. So I'm gonna go with marketing. You pick yours. Uh, next, choose a name for your template. Oops, my template. And pick a language or multiple languages that you want to use in your template. I'm gonna go with English US. And that's it for this page. Let's continue and start editing our template. Click continue to go to the next page. Okay, so we're in an edit template page. Let me show you what you can add to your template. You can add a header, a body, a footer, and buttons. You might have noticed that buttons, footer, and header are optional. What does this mean? This means that the body is the only required field, only uh, the only mandatory field. Let me demonstrate with an example. For example, if I create a message like this, saying, hi, how can we help you? You'll see and notice the preview here where you can preview your message. You'll see that the submit button appears. If you click the submit button, your template is going to be is going to be sent to the meta team and they'll either approve or reject your template within 24 hours. Now, if you're this means that if you're happy with your template, if you want if you want a very very simple template, you don't want to you don't want anything else, no buttons, no other information, you can already submit your template for approval and start sending re-engage messages in chat fuel. But let me show you what else you can add to your template. Let's start with the header. A header uh, can contain text. And by the way, take a look at the preview while I'm doing this on the left. You can ch check the preview on the right to see what I'm doing exactly. So I'm adding text here. You can also go with media, add an image, a video, or a document right here. I'm going to go with text. Uh, also, you've got your footer. Uh, I write, I've already put my phone number in here. So you can see that my customers will see my business number at all times at the bottom of my template. And finally, we've got buttons. Now there are several types of buttons. I'm going to quickly show you what I mean. First, call to action buttons. You can add a call phone number button or a visit website button. One for calling your business, one for going to your website. You can add up to two call to action buttons. Next, there are custom buttons or quick replies. Now, if you add quick replies, you can add up to three. You'll see, uh, 
your customers will see these buttons within the template uh, they'll be able to interact with the buttons and you'll choose what these buttons do in chat fuel you'll set up what they do in chat fuel and how users will interact with them and finally there's one more type of button which is marketing opt-out this is a pretty important button especially for marketing templates it lets your customers unsubscribe from re-engage messages. They'll see this button here. If they click it, they'll, they'll let you know that they don't want to receive any more re-engage messages. But it's very important. They will not stop from receiving these messages. This button won't do that. It will only inform you. It will let you know that your customers want to unsubscribe from these messages. So it's on you to stop sending them re-engage messages. Now, this is super important. Keep this in mind. Uh, I'm not going to add anything like this. OK, so I'm happy with my template. And when you are, click Submit. And your template is going to be sent for approval to the Meta team. Now to check the status of your message template, go here to this drop down list, click on it, and let's turn this off and choose in review as your filter. As you can see, we've got our template or my template in review. Now when it's out, when it's approved, when it's approved, it's going to have active status and will show up in this list. Now, take care and I'll see you in another video.